Welcome everybody. Today we have to discuss about portion distribution. Portion distribution is one of the most important discrete probability distribution, also known as the law of its phone number. It is named after French mathematician Simon Denis Poisson, who developed it in 1837. Similar like binomial distribution, portion distribution determines the probability of random variable for a given number of occurrence or success. That is some random variable have the number of success or occurrence for a certain event in a continuous time interval or in a specified region or space. So we want to find the probability of the random variable of a certain event for a given time interval or in a specified region or space. The time interval may be any length, second, minute, day, week, a month, or even a year. Region or space may be certain place, miles, kilometer, etc. Okay. The lot of space where we can use portion distribution. For exa some example, the number of failure in a large computer system during a given day or maybe the given hour, okay? The number of replacement order for a particular, for a part received by a firm in a given month, the number of telephone cell calls received by a switchboard per minute. So there are a lot of example where you can use portion distribution. So let us see how we can develop the portion distribution. So let X be the random variable, the number of success or number of occurrence in a given time interval or in a given specific region. And lambda is the number of success, that is expected number of success or occurrence for that given time or space. And we want to find the probability of X success for that given time interval uh, with lambda mean will follow portion distribution as follows, okay? Probability of getting X success will be e to the power minus lambda multiplied by lambda power X divided by X factorial. This is read as X factorial and value of X will be zero, one, two, three up to infinity. And there is only one parameter in the portion distribution that is lambda, okay? Which is the mean of the distribution. So if for discrete random variable, if we know the mean, and we want to find the specified number of success or occurrence for a given time or reason, then you can use the portion distribution, okay? And by the following probability distribution. And also remember that for binomial distribution, we had only two parameter. One is the probability of success and another is number of trials, okay? So here by portion distribution, we have only one parameter that is the lambda. So and we know lambda is the mean and interesting, the variance of the Poisson distribution is also lambda and standard deviation will be root over of lambda, okay? This is the uh, mean and variance of the Poisson distribution is same. Very interesting. Now see some practical example where we can use the Poisson distribution, okay? See example number one, average number of calls received by a, an operator during an interval of a specific time, 10 minutes, that is from 5 p.m. to 5, 10 p.m. is seven. Though an operator received the number of call is seven in 10 minutes time interval. And we want to find the probability in the same time tomorrow, there'll be no calls, two calls, at least three calls. And we want to find the mean variance and standard deviation. So here is time interval is 10 minutes from 5 p.m. to 5, 10 p.m. and mean that is lambda parameter is given seven. So we want to find the probability no calls. So this is, we can from the question easily understand this is the portion distribution. So let us solve it portion distribution. So lambda, we know average number of call per 10 minutes is seven. So seven is 10 minutes and X is the random variable, the number of calls. So question number one, there'll be no call that is X equal to zero. Now putting the values in the portion distribution, it is the power minus lambda, that's lambda we know seven, 
and lambda 7, the no call 0 divided by x factorial, 0 factorial is always 1. If you use the calculator, you will find this value. We will show how to find the portion distribution in Excel. Similarly, two call, that is x equal to 2, putting the value in the portion distribution uh, we, by calculator, you can get it 0 0.22341. And number three, at least three calls. That is, there will be not less than three calls. That is three or more calls. So here is infinity number of calls, three up to more. So here it is very difficult. So that is, you have to use the law of probability. If greater than, uh, we can use one minus less than equal to two. So if at least three calls, we have to one minus probability less than equal to two, two calls. So we know for the less than equal to two, it will be zero call, one call, and two call. Okay. By using the probability distribution function of portion for zero, we already got it. Put the value for the one you need to calculate. Putting the value that is here, you have to put the value of x equal to one. That is, we'll get it. And for x equal to two, we already calculated. Putting all the value, sum up, and on minus form one, we'll get it 0 0.97036. So at least three call, the probability will be 0 0.97036. And question number four, that is D. Mean we know for the lambda is given seven and the variance is the same as the, as the mean will be seven and the standard deviation if you take the root over you'll get 2.65. How can we do this by Excel? This is very easy to solve the portion distribution in Excel. Okay. So see here for the we know for the portion distribution there is only one parameter lambda equal to mean that is seven. First question was there will be no, no call in the same time interval tomorrow. Okay. Let us see how can you solve it by portion distribution. Uh, so if you say put, so you have to put equal to equal, then you can find the portion distribution. We know for the x equal to zero, first one, that is the x zero. And the mean we know seven. And the cumulative here, we don't want to find the less than equal. So it will be false. If you give the enter. Will the same result point triple zero nine double one nine. So I, I I shown it in the right right side. Similarly for x equal to two, that there will be two calls. So our value of that is the x equal to two and the mean equal to seven. Similarly, we don't want to find the cumulative only equal sign. That is you have to select the uh, false. Okay. So give the enter. You will get the value point zero double two three four double one. Similarly for the at least three call that is greater than equal to three, we'll put that is one minus less than equal to two. So putting one minus equal portion distribution that is x equal to two, and that is the mean seven and the true because where we want to find the less than equal to two and give the enter minus one, you'll get that is got by calculator. Let us check second example of portion distribution. Okay. Please remember the mean a portion distribution that is also known as rate of change. So it is change in terms of time, in terms of length, in terms of reason, in terms of place. Very important portion distribution, the only one parameter mean will be changed in terms of time and also the length also. Let us see example, it will be more clear. The number of cracks in a section of highway is assumed to be follow portion distribution with mean two cracks per mile. That is number of damage per mile in a highway is two. That is mean is given. So it is follow normal portion distribution. We can understand easily. But the question is A, what is the probability that there are no cracks in five miles of the highway? A mean is given for per mile. But here we have to find there will be no cracks per five miles. So here mean will be changed, OK? So if you solve the problem, so mean is given to cracks per mile, but you want to find the mean for the five miles. So if we do by mathematics, it will be 10 cracks per five miles. Okay. Now you want to find there will be no cracks. That is uh, x equal to zero. That is the random variable take the value of zero. And as mean is given in a specified length for five miles, so it's follow portion distribution. We know the function, it is the power minus lambda. Lambda here is 10. Then multiply by 10 to the power zero. Zero means no, no cracks and divided by x factorial x equal to zero. 
if you solve, you will get the result. That is 0 0.000454. So there will be no cracks per five miles in the highway. This is the probability. Similarly, in the question number it is given, there will be at least one crack in half miles of the highway. See here, the length is changed. Before it was in the question given, the cracks is two for five per mile. Here you want to find there will be at least one crack per half mile. So here also will the mean will be changed. So here the mean for the half miles will be equal to one. If you solve this and put all the value, at least one mean greater than equal to one, that is one minus x equal to zero. If you put all the values in the formula, you will get it, okay? By calculator equal to, how can you solve in Excel? I saw, I uh, given a screenshot, you can do by Excel very easily as you solve in example one. There are a lot of example, please try to solve yourself. If you solve more example, you will be more expert and it will be very easier for you. And it will be very helpful for data science and machine learning. There are a lot of application of portion distribution in machine learning, also data science. Good luck. Please do more practice. Also, there are ex in exercise, there are some example of portion distribution. Try to solve yourself. If any problem, don't hesitate to contact with me. Good luck. That's all for portion distribution.